Hi everyone and welcome back to Planet Property. Today I'm doing another revise of me. I have got an hour and a half before I need to leave for yoga. So I'm going to go through some valuation stuff. I'm going to show you what I'm doing and maybe even talk you through some valuation stuff because that is the best way to learn is to be able to explain it to people. I think they say that's how you know you know a topic when you're able to explain it to a five-year-old. So maybe maybe you'll get a little treat and I'll explain about internal rate of return to you. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna crack on. I've got my coffee, I've got all my notes and everything. Let me just show you what I'm wearing for yoga later. So I'm just wearing my uh, Sweaty Betty high-waisted power legging. So I love the power legging, but for some weird reason, the high-waisted ones just they aren't the same, it's really hard to describe and that's kind of also indicated in all the reviews online but they're nice for the gym and obviously really good for yoga and they do have two pockets but the power leggings are sort of my go-to running leggings and these ones just, they don't, they don't stay up as well for running they're not great so they've kind of been demoted to just gym leggings and then this, hang on let me take my cardigan off this super cute sports bra is like a long line high neck sports bra, simple back, um, from Tala and I love the brand Tala, I've bought so much stuff recently from the Skin Luxe collection just because these colours are just so glorious and yeah it's not high support enough that I'd go running in it but I can certainly do a gym session and obviously definitely do yoga in this so yeah and then just got my look hardier as a cover up to keep warm before I go from ASOS so yeah I've got an hour and a half before I need to leave so we're going to get some good valuation work done and go to yoga I feel really zen and come back and do a little bit more sunshine it's just glorious isn't it um i need to leave for yoga in about 10 minutes so i've just been going through all of this stuff and it finally feels like it's sort of sinking in now so whilst it's not something i really do day to day that much in my work um discounted cash flows and um like having to explain what mpv and irr is because I'm doing valuation to level two, I need to be able to sort of talk through it and show that I know the sort of the technique and the formula and it is quite complicated financial modelling and <laughs> numbers have never been my forte, which you know, you could ask why I want to be a development surveyor if numbers aren't my thing, but you know, we love a challenge. So yeah, I think that's finally starting to really sink in and fit. So um, Tom and I are doing this new thing now where he's he's at work during the day today and I've told him exactly what I'm going through. So when he gets home tonight, he's gonna ask me to explain all of that to him in layman's terms, as in he doesn't know anything about this kind of stuff. So to be able to explain it to him in a way that he can understand. And I feel like that's going to be a really good way of me showing that I've fully understood the topic. So 
I'm going to talk him through discounted cash flows, net present value, internal rate of return as a form of financial modelling as part of the investment method of valuation of property. So that feels really good because, like I say, whilst it's not something I do loads of my day-to-day -day practice, so I feel like it could be, you know, I, it's unlikely that they might ask me about it. They might still because I'm doing valuation to level two so I need to be able to at least know the theory even if I haven't actually done it that much or at all really outside of a practice scenario. So I just, with this kind of stuff, I just completely panic that if they ask me, I won't know anything at all. So yeah, chances of them asking me a low or a slim but I just want to be able to answer confidently if they do ask so that feels really good going through the rest of my valuation stuff um i mean obviously i've said this before the key revision resource is your um submission document so i've been making my highlights been making my scribbles um just sort of talk you through something that i picked up on today so obviously i've gone through all of this stuff and i know my examples inside out um I'm just trying to find as many questions as they might ask me as possible. So, for example, in my level one statement for valuation, I've stated, well, I don't want to read it sort of word for word, but just in case anyone copies me and sort of get in trouble for plagiarism. Um, but I talk about, or I sort of make reference to different meth different purposes for valuing property and I make reference to financial reporting so I've just sort of scribbled a little note to myself what is the reference to financial reporting and that is located within the red book and it's VPGA1 so that's the sort of thing I'm trying to trying to look at and go where could they ask me a question about that and then when I get back from yoga I think I'm going to deep dive more into the sections of the red book because it was updated this year and just sort of refresh my memory on what each of those sections are because I've referenced financial reporting there's a chance they might ask me about the specific references in VPGA1 of the red book which is the valuation practice guidance on um, setting out valuations for financial reporting so yeah I'm gonna go through that when I get back from yoga I think but we're feeling good the sun is shining which makes things feel really positive so yeah I'll see you later oh that was the most yummy oh, I think that's the best way to describe it it was purely a yummy yoga class and on my way home, I remembered that because I'm on O2, I now get a free coffee at Craig's. So, got my coffee, living my best yummy mummy life, going to yoga and getting my coffee. And I've just been sat in the garden drinking my coffee, just enjoying the sun. And I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to the gym, which I know seems a bit counterproductive because I've just gone to yoga. But I've discovered that two o'clock is like peak time to go to the gym. Because A, it's really quiet. And B, it's actually when I'm least productive anyway, because I'm normally in my afternoon slump. So I might regret this later, having taken a few hours off work and then coming back to it. But I think that going to the gym now would be the best thing to do. Go and get an upper body session. That's why I'm still in my yoga kit, which is a bit gross. But yeah, I'll go to the gym, have a shower, and then crack back on this afternoon. Oh, this weather. Oh, summer in Bryson really is just unbeatable. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get on with some more work after the gym, I think. Oh my goodness me, time ran away with me yesterday. Uh, Tom got home from work a lot earlier than I was expecting him to, so he and I went through the stuff that I'd revised yesterday, and then I did a little bit more on the VPGAs, and I just didn't film any of that. But we are back at it today. I am going through, I'm going through, I'm going through my specific examples that I've got in my valuation competencies and I'm also going through appraisals so it's very high level, I don't know what I'm actually going to do, I might go into sort of, while I'm on this finance thing I might sort of do different methods of financing development. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like that's one of the only areas I struggle with a bit because having worked in the NHS and done a lot of my examples when I worked at the NHS, um, our methods of financing, development appraisals was very different than traditional methods. So it's just sort of making sure I fully understand what a normal developer would use to access financing capital, etc. when undertaking an appraisal. Um, I'm in, my gym get well. Got my shorts on, but it was cold to so put my trackies on on top. I'm on the gym gear again, because I'm just gonna wait for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go to the gym at around two o'clock today because I'm really enjoying this. Um, wasn't as quiet yesterday, but you know what? It's just good for me to get my work done first thing in the morning and if my gym sessions aren't as pumped and efficient as they might otherwise be, do you know what? Something's got to give, hasn't it? <laughs> At least I'm getting the gym in. That's what matters. So, yes, just gonna do a little bit more work. And yeah, I don't really know what what I've sort of gained out of this vlog or what you've gained out of this video, but um, just sort of systematically seeing the way that I'm working through my revision, I think. Um, and yeah, I think I might just leave it there because you don't want to sit and watch me in my all black tracksuit um, revising methods of development finance. I don't particularly want to do it. I don't imagine anyone particularly wants to see it. So I'm going to wrap it up there and there will be more revision videos coming soon as we get ever closer to the big bad day. I'm obviously not going to tell you when it is, but needless to say it is not a million years away so yeah all right thanks very much for watching and i will catch up with you next time